Yo, hey, fellow YouTubers of the world, I'm back for a review. Oh yeah, so I went to the cinema on Wednesday, as it was Orange Wednesdays, but the bastard didn't give my code. Anyway, that's like the point. I didn't get my Wednesday code, so it wasn't Orange Wednesdays. Anyway, I went to see Dark Skies, as you would have seen by the title. Um, yeah, so I'm going to review it for you. Basically, Dark Skies is from the producers or production company of... They probably made Insidious and like Sinister and uh, what else did they make? I don't know. But I, Insidious I enjoyed. Um, I liked the beginning of it and then the end it just kind of fell short for me. It was creepy at the beginning and then it just was like, what? This isn't creepy, this is just, just weird. And uh, it was funny though, it had a comedy, it kind of became a bit too uh, religious -y and uh, comedy if you've seen the film, you'll know what comedy element I'm on about. It's just funny rather than creepy. I was just like, huh, it's funny. Um, Sinister, I thought, was really good. Um, it was creepy. It was scary. It kept its way. It kept on the same level the whole way through, whereas Insidious, I don't think, did. It started out as something different and then became something else, if you know what I mean, of which I liked the beginning half better. Um, Sinister, I just thought it was great the whole way through. Um, and this is Dark Skies and... Basically, it's about this family, just a husband and a wife with two um, younger boys. And, you know, it's kind of the same thing. Weird things start happening in their house. Um, like, for example, uh, she wakes up in the night and all the food is everywhere and the alarms go off. You know, she kind of thinks it's her son getting up in the night and um, things like that. And just weird things. And the beginning half was quite creepy. Uh, it could have been creepier. Um... It, I can't, I see it's one of the things I can't really give much away uh, with this review because it will um, spoil it. But, um, see, I am I'm a bit swings around about this as well. I'm not sure what I thought about the movie quite yet. Um, but, yeah, anyway, so it starts out this family. And then I think this is shown in the trailer, so I will tell you this. Basically, this whole um, flock of birds, this whole, well, this whole lot of birds, fly into their house and all, like, die. And they're like, whoa, now this is weird, like, why has this happened? So, you know, they're researching into that and they're saying, you know, something's, dr something's drawing the birds to this house. So, you know, there's something about the house and the people that is all weird going on and they keep having blackouts and not knowing what's going on. And it's all a bit weird like that. And, you know, it's kind of interesting, you're like, ooh, what is this, you know? And um, then you kind of find out what it is. And it's a bit like, hmm, okay. Like, it's not as scary anymore, but I think that's the same with most things. Once you find out what something is, it's not as scary anymore. However, the actual, um, how do I put this, um, thing, that is the, um, scary element of it, does actually look, it's something that I envision, if I think of a scary thing, I don't think of, like, a ghost or a, um, creepy man. Like, the guy out of Sinister didn't creep me out at all. He looked a bit creepy, but he wasn't like, oh my god, I'm scared of that guy. Whereas the thing in this movie is something which I would envision to be quite scary. I was like, ooh, now that actual thing is scary. Not as... You really have to have seen this movie to get what I'm on about. Not as what they were representing it as, but as, like, the image of it is like, you know. So, you know, that kind of creeped me out and I liked that. I liked the way they did that. Um, the ending, it, it kind of just started to fall short. And honestly, that's just what I think about it. I was kind of starting to think, be less scared because I was like, well, not less, I wasn't, it wasn't particularly terrifying, but you know, it was a bit creepy. And then you were kind of a bit less creeped out because you knew, oh, okay, okay. And I, don't, I wish they would have gone in a bit of a different direction with it, but I do think that it is original. Well, not super original, but you know, it's better than the same old thing over and over again. So, you know, I give them props for that. But I did enjoy it. I um, don't know if I'd watch it again. I definitely think, I'm sure it's from the people who did Sinister, I hope it is, because, but now I'm having doubts, because Sinister and then that, I just don't think it seems as good, but I'm sure Sinister was Insidious People, let me check, let me check, uh, yeah, 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 from the producers of Paranormal Activity and Sinister, and I definitely know the producers for Insidious, so it's the same, uh, Paranormal Activity, I guess, I guess then they're gonna, I don't know, now I'm rambling, I thought the movie was good, I probably get three out of five stars. Some bits I really enjoyed. Some bits really did actually creep me out. There was one scene I was like, oh my god, that's creepy. Like I was like scared. I was like, oh, 
don't want to like be sleeping by myself tonight it was like a creepy bit and then it kind of would take it away from me so I wasn't like always on the edge of my seat you know but you know what can you expect so yeah I give it 3 out of 5 stars I'd love to know your opinions on it but um just try not to like spoil it for other people in the comments but yeah I'd like to know what you thought post it down below and don't forget to subscribe uh yeah and I will do some more movie reviews as I don't do enough of them so thanks for watching sorry it didn't make much sense but I'll see you in the next video bye